Hazrat Ibrahim said, It is permissible. And Umar bin Abdul Aziz said, Both of them will not take it back. And the Prophet ﷺ sought the permission of his wives to stay in Hazrat Aisha's house during his disease. And the Prophet ﷺ said, The one who takes back a gift is like a dog who eats its vomit. Zohri said about a man who said to his wife, Present me some or all your jointure. Later on, after some time, he divorced her and the woman denied the gift. He said, she will be given the total amount of the jointure if he had deceived her. And if she excused him, the jointure willingly, and there was no ruse in the mind of the husband, it is permissible. Allah the Exalted says, But if they, of their own pleasure of heart, remit something of it to you. Surah Al-Nisa verse 4 Hazrat Ubaidullah bin Abdullah has reported from Hazrat Aisha radiallahu anha. When the Prophet's ailment got severe and his pain became more intense, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam took the permission of his wives to stay in my house during the days of his ailment. So they gave their consent. So he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came to my house between two men with their support while his feet were dragging and he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was between Hazrat Abbas radiallahu anhu and another man. Ubaidullah narrates when I mention it to Hazrat Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu what Hazrat Aisha radiallahu anha said. He said to me, Do you know the name of the man whose name Hazrat Aisha radiallahu anha did not mention? I said no. He said he was Hazrat Ali bin Abi Talib. Sahih Bukhari hadith number 2588.